Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with the Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 16th, 2021. Before we get into this, this is a big time of heart activation. We all need to be doing our part and if you want some help with that, you can work with Archangel Raphael. Now I have posted a free meditation for connecting with Archangel Raphael and doing some healing work and opening your heart. But if you do want to go a little more in depth, I do have a meditation challenge for Raphael, the seven day Archangel Raphael meditation challenge over at Gumroad. You can go check that out at gumroad.com slash angel souls. And of course, if you would like a personal reading with me, just go over to angelsouls444.com. I am doing Akashic Records readings as well. Just make sure you specify that in the submission form. Okay, so let's go into the message for this week. It does feel like we're all hurting, we're all recovering. And when we get to a place where we start to feel more at ease with our lives, where we feel like everything is, you know, kind of coming back together, something comes in and knocks it apart again. And the division, the polarization, this is going to keep increasing until we are completely in a civil war. And we have a choice to make. Are we going to keep trying to be divided so that we can be right? Or are we going to do that heart activation and get centered, grounded? Remember, that's part of the spiritual practice. That's why everybody comes running to uh, spirituality. Usually it's because of trauma healing or... You know, they're just feeling a calling for it, but uh, also feeling ill at ease with what's going on in the world. Now, this might have to do, too, with reconciling the past. This might be cutting out toxic people. We have to be careful with that. When I'm saying toxic people, I'm talking like people who truly are maybe, God forbid, abusive or they just do not respect you. Not just, oh, you didn't do as I thought you should, therefore I'm going to judge you. You're toxic we have to be careful <laughs> because there are these um, beings out there that are functioning as human. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, in my mind, I think you're not human anymore as soon as you're disconnected from your heart um, in, in like an intentional evil way. Does that make sense? Not like, oh, my heart's broken. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like you're intentionally shutting down uh, the thing that makes you loving and caring so that you can win at whatever game is going on here. The, the problem around the energy starting around this week, please remember that really all of the readings that I've done on here, every single video on my channel is timeless. So after you watch this one, maybe go check out one that you feel drawn to. It could be from eight years ago or whatever, okay? So definitely look into that. But there is, I mean, it's a big decision time. And it is a time for us to... Really, I'm telling you guys, cut ties. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to cut ties and shove family members out of your life or whatever, but definitely cut ties from the dynamic. So if you are used to being controlled, if you're used to having to go along to get along, if you have just always accepted toxic behavior because you don't want to get attacked or you've always played small because if you are successful, you've heard me say this before, if you're successful, then people are going to harass you because they're jealous and resentful and they're going to twist it around like you're jealous and resentful you know all of this nonsense it's still going on I think yeah I'm hearing tipping point so I think a lot of us start hitting that tipping point where we're just not going to accept it so how does this look for us as individuals it depends on your situation obviously but this may look like okay you know what you don't respect me you don't feel like you have to respect my time or respond to me or you know whatever, because you're too busy and important, then I'm going to go over here and do my thing, okay? And not trying to make, not try to appease other people. It could look like that. Or it could look like I'm just going to hide out at home, <laughs> right? I'm going to curl up on my couch and watch funny TV shows or, you know, however you cope, whatever. I, I just feel like there's a lot of very, very sensitive people, all of us empaths, um, not all of us, but like a lot of us are getting maybe drained in the coming times. It'll start to come up again. It'll start to improve, but it's just sort of this stop and process kind of moment, okay? That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting around this. Watch being polarized. People will attack you for trying to be balanced, and that's just because they want to be right. Now, some people are operating from a space of pain, and they want to feel loved and supported. I think every 
human that has their heart activated knows the importance of being loved and supported and loving others and supporting others. But again, it needs to be in a healthy manner. So you might come to these realizations of, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done hanging on. I'm done replaying that situation. I'm done accepting that kind of behavior or that kind of treatment. And please, as much as you can, be as loving as you can. Again, it's not going to be easy. All right. So there's a lot of that. Just agendas. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Just like a lot of agendas and people trying to pull people to their side. Okay. So let's get some cards. I didn't bring the color cards over this week. I'm just going to use the Archangel Michael deck as our other deck because I feel like that's important. So again, it's a feeling here of being drained, of being fed up. Some of you are fed up with your careers. How many of you, especially during everything that's been happening through 2020, you've had to step up and work extra hard and yet you're having a hard time paying your bills because maybe, you know, I know here in Colorado, they, the housing costs went out of control, out of control. It was stunning. And a lot of people are having a hard time figuring out how they're going to afford mortgages or rent or what have you. So yeah, they're, they're saying there's a discrepancy here between, um, what we're being told and what is, we know that that's, that's a given, but you know, there's, there's the gap between what people actually make and what they can do with it. Right. So there's that feeling too. So there could be a lot of rising up and fights about housing, about banking systems, about big business. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> These two cards came out together. Uh, and here's love. This is what you're connecting into this week. Again, you're trying to just, you know what this feels like? It feels like, because this one's reflection. Maybe it's kind of laying low, seeing what's going on in the world. And instead of just going, oh my gosh, the world is just terrible, this, that, and the other. You're going to disconnect perhaps and say, okay, I just need some alone time. I just need to reflect. Speaking of reflection, there was a reflection off the <laughs> card. I need to reflect and I need to tap back into love. Now, this feels very much like self-love. This feels very much, I'm telling you guys, like hard, hard, hard decisions and these hard realizations about what is actually happening. Now, the problem with this, um, the pitfall that you could get into would be feeling hopeless. Make sure that you're not doing that. I know it's so easy to get into that space, but you know try to try to maintain again even if you have to lay low take a day off of work recharge your batteries kind of thing make sure you're doing that for yourself because we've gotten out of touch with this love idea I mean even look at love partnerships it's more about if you look around it's more about how <laughs> I want to say how well we photograph as a couple but what I mean by that is how good do we look on our TikToks how good do we look on our Instagram like it's about uh, telling a story and not real love, not real connection, okay? Uh, and people get very, very defensive. And I always find it very curious when someone gets very defensive about, you know, real love. It's like almost like they're trying to tell themselves the story and trying to convince themselves that what I have is actual love when they might be the ones that just kind of, you know, put on a good show for everybody. Does that make sense? I'm sure people will have a lot to say about that, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that seems like the energy we've got going on here. So we have sanctuary. I'm telling you, this is like pulling back. We may see something happen out in the world that is just, I don't need to keep repeating that every week, right? I mean, I warned you guys about Turkey and that region of the world. And I warned you about some floods and, and things like that. Well, I guess I ended up posting it after the floods had already hit Germany and that region of the world. But um I, I, I need to sometimes when I feel like I need to post something early, even though it's supposed to be released weeks later, I, I'm just going to start doing that. I know it's going to be confusing, but messages come when they come. I'm in a 3D situation here in my own housing where I have to work around noise and I don't know, it just doesn't try to hard. It's kind of hard to get those two kind of lined up. You know what I mean? So sanctuary, withdrawing, seeing something out in the world and pulling back. This is also, you know, and I've been talking to people about this where I've never really been a very political person. I don't like that as a division tactic. So I kind of, you know, that's where I kind of pull back. But I've heard people definitely changing their viewpoints 
because they're seeing this false narrative. It's starting to crumble. And this is also where we might see people acting out. It's not even rebellion. It's not even, it might be like people coming out and shouting and not even knowing what they're shouting about anymore. Very confusing times. We'll pull some extra cards for this week. Peace. I'm telling you, look at this. Look at the lineup of these cards. So we've got, here, let me if I can pick them up. I have them on my little prayer board that I made. Uh, <laughs> so we have peace, sanctuary, love, and reflection. You see the story that's unfolding here? We, we're just getting so drained and so fed up. So drained, so fed up. And it's, it's difficult to know how maybe even how you believe anymore. There might be a question of who am I? What am I supposed to be doing? I bet I'm going to get lots of reading requests for what's my purpose. You know, I mean, it's that kind of thing where it's like, I just feel lost and confused. And um, for some of you out there as well, breaking away from expectation, sure, there's that. But there might be something that you have been doing for forever or a way that you've shown up in your life for a while that you always intended for it to be temporary. Like, I'm just going to take this job temporarily. Ten years later, you're still there. Um, and you thought that it was going to lead to something. But, you know, there's politics in the workplace and nobody, you know, nobody maybe saw potential in you. I bet, you know, comment down below if you can relate to that. And so, you know, you just got comfortable. That's really what it is. Where did you get comfortable? Yeah, that's what you're waking up to. So we're going to get the Archangel Michael deck here let's see what we have around this okay we have your home is protected by angels i'm telling you guys lots around housing 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 so i uh, I don't, I don't know what the latest is on evictions. And, you know, this is, a, you know, people all over the world watch this channel. So at least here in the United States, I'm not sure what's going on there. But this is Archangel Michael. Thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. This is what we're talking about, guys. Like, people can't even afford to live. They can't afford their housing. Um, you know, children are not going to be getting what they need. So bring in this divine guidance, okay? Bring in this divine protection. So again, these are mostly timeless. I just, I put a date on them because that's when I released it. It's when I got the message. Feel free <laughs> to take any message as it comes for you, right? So whatever you're guided to, but there, this is going to be a trend now. Uh, I think we're all going to take a very 3D approach to this. I'm going to be very honest. I mean, you know, again, this might be protesting. This might be just power struggles. You know, we see that. I just had a couple of people try to control me and have power struggles with me, and then they turn the narrative around. You know, people are just kind of cracking up. And as I was saying at the top of the video, especially if you're an empath, you're going to start waking up to this even more and saying no. And if that means you have to just reserve that love for you and let them play out whatever story they're going to play out, so be it. All right. Now, getting back to the housing, finances, I keep feeling like a lot of people have been doing a ton of work and not getting properly compensated for it. Maybe your company had to let a bunch of people go to survive. And now you're doing the job of three people, but getting paid for one job. Okay. Oh, okay. A lot of like jittery, um, short tempered <laughs> kinds of things. Um, you might see that there's like suddenly a bunch of noise all around you. People are short circuiting. This really is a time maybe to, as I keep saying, it's about the heart activation. It's about the heart activation. And I'm right there with you guys. All right. Remember, Every spiritual practitioner, every therapist, every anybody who's in an emotional support kind of business, we've all been through it too. We're human, okay? And so we also 
get drained. I think it was, what's her name, Katie Morton? Uh, she just posted a video finally coming out and saying that she had, you know, she has gotten overwhelmed and she just needs some time for herself. If I remember correctly, it's been a minute since I watched that video. But I think honesty and and leveling with people, especially in your life, if you're always the rock of your family, if you're the one who's supposed to support everybody, or maybe you're in an emotional support business, or you're in a trauma-based business, law enforcement, uh, EMTs, doctors, nurses, I mean, recognize that you can't be the hero all the time. You can't be everyone's rock all the time. And this might be that time where you realize that, (laughs) okay? And it's not bad. I, I think that's why this is coming up. I want you to understand that it's not bad to disconnect. If you have people who, you know, they play power struggles with, in this day and age, it's about communication. Power struggles with communication, right? So let's say you're starting to date somebody and you heard of that like three day rule, like you can't respond to them right away. Um, Again, it's all game playing and it's not gonna get us anywhere. It's just a drain of energy. So please make sure that you're taking care of yourselves this week. I know yesterday I had a lot of work to do and I just went, but it's so nice out and it hasn't, I live in Colorado, so it's been very smoky and just unbearably hot. And we had a reasonable day yesterday. So I was like, where's my bathing suit? <laughs> I got my bathing suit on, went and just lounged by the pool, just looked at the sky and just heard the water trickling along. And it was just so lovely. And I, I went for a nice long swim. I love swimming. You can barely get me out of the pool. I'm not a great swimmer. I think I've mentioned to you guys before that I'm an alligator swimmer. <laughs> I don't like my face in the water. I look stupid, but whatever, I'm in the water, (laughs) relaxing. Um, You know, just make sure you're doing that kind of thing. Sorry, that that was a whole other tangent. Coming back to the housing thing, we're going to start fighting back. Um, In the interim, at least for the uh, time being, it's going to seem like, like the big real estate giants, right? Like they're, they're winning, but there's a cliff and they never learned to fly. So be ready for that. Be ready for that. You might find that you end up getting some housing help or uh, they're saying we do have power here, but they're saying it very, asking me to be very cautious in how I put that because we don't want people coming out and just like being a rebel just for the sake of rebellion. It is kind of having to wait until the chips sort of fall. I guess we'll know as we go through it, but I think there's gonna be a lot of housing concerns going on, overcrowding, overcrowding. You know, people, after everything that's happened in 2020, coming into 2021, panicking and wanting to run from the big cities. We have so many people here in Colorado Springs coming from you know the bigger cities in Texas. They're coming from the bigger cities in California. Um, which has led to overcrowding and chaos, just absolute chaos. So, you know, think about your own region. Maybe you're not going through that exactly where you live, but it's that sort of thing, okay? People just trying to scramble to see where they belong. All right. Watch out for desperate actions. This has to do with people You ready? This has to do with people needing to feel superior to others. And then the people who feel like someone is putting them down, they start to fight back. This is why we not fight back in like a nice way. I'm talking, they become unhinged and go do horrible things. Okay. We need to be more loving and caring and patient. And yes, with all these other cards that I had here, there might very well be the energy of uh, just kind of backing off. Make sure you know how you feel before you speak. Yeah, hold on, let me get. <laughs> Sorry, there was a little bit. This okay. You're, I'm gonna let me explain this. Okay, <laughs> I'm all over the place. There was this thing here where it was like cut ties with people who've never been good to you, but not, like I said, you know, it's not like you have to just like not talk to your mother or whatever, work with a therapist if you need to work through some stuff and be very discerning about what kind of therapist you go to. It is shocking how many therapists are completely invalidating 
uh, come to the table with a lot of issues themselves and then put that on to the client. It happens. It happens. Okay. So be very, very careful about that. But it could be this kind of thing where you're going to start realizing that these old situations are still, you're still operating from that space. Okay. So this could be, I'm waiting for that love partner to come back. And I know they love me. I know they love me. But they're not being good to you and they're not showing up. And if they were to show up, how would they keep you this time? What nonsense will they, will they feed you to keep you, right? So if somebody's not showing up and not making the effort, love yourself. Pull back. And this is the next card that I pulled, which is detach from the situation, <laughs> which goes right along with the sanctuary, the peace, reflection. It, it's very internal, okay? Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace, there's that word again, peace, is everywhere within me in this situation. So we're trying to assess where we want to go. Now this can be a little bit of, I got to figure out who I am now, okay? Let's get another one. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. So there's a lot of scrambling. There's a lot of scrambling. I kind of want to go back to this other deck and pull another one. Um, I'm just not taking it anymore, but it's not. And you're going to see people, as I said before, acting out, listening. Here's the thing. Division, push-pull, polarization. We may get to a space where we don't even know what to think anymore. We, like I said, we don't even know who we are. It's like each side is making a good point. And so this detaching from the situation and going back within, I think has a lot to do with um, being willing to listen to where your heart is right now. And I'm telling you, this does have to do with some people out there and love partners. So again, I don't, I don't put too much around that. And jobs. I mean, people are really saying, no, I'm not going to be treated badly. And no, I'm not going to go along with that narrative that I owe you something. And you know what I'm saying? Like, but we're not completely there, obviously, just in one week. Right? <laughs> this is the reflection time. This is the self-understanding time. Okay. All over the place. We are going to leave it there. Again, if you want to go check out that Archangel Raphael 7-Day Meditation Challenge, it's over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. Really important one to do. I also have the Archangel Metatron one and the Archangel Michael one if you have not done those yet. And please comment down below. What Archangel would you like to work with next? So we'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. 